welcome to the SSE Arena Wembley here in London, England. 12 rounds of boxing scheduled for the Unified Heavyweight Championship. The time has come. The fight starts now. He's fighting out of the red corner with his head trainer, Even Kaysen. His professional record, 28 victories against one defeat. Kubra, the Cobra. Hula, fighting out of the blue corner with head trainer Rob McCracken. And now, as a professional, in 24 bouts, his record stands at 23. He is the heavyweight fighting pride of all the United Kingdom, Anthony Joshua! Before Andy Ruiz, Anthony John specific instructions from the referee. Dion Duarte of South Africa is the referee, and we're underway. And knocked down by Vladimir Klitschko. So the ring looking like he's willing to trade. Uh, advantage. Of course, trained Andy Ruiz for his up. He's to time it, then come over the top. It'll serve Joshua right if he can aim that jab at the chest or even the belly, because right now Pula, you know, he has his arms open. Like here, one of the few punches landed in the first round. We only have a minute to go. Right, he's disciplined, fighting behind the jab. Kubrev able to reach the fatal pull up, doesn't go to the body very well either. Long right hand. That jab, but it's, he's awkward. Here to open up the second round. Takes a good long look. Joshua, will we see? So far, Joshi, where the champ. Right here, he just needs to. Not stand right in front of him and then look for the right opening. And there's a cut number two. Let's go to Joshua. Each other. Um, they did that. We were in the mid engagement, but as you can see, both men are precautious what they're doing because at this level, man, you make one mistake and the fight can be over. Thank you so much. Again, final minute of round number two through that hurt Joshua in New York. They're throwing that jab. That was the third time I've seen Josh try to reach around with that left. And I mentioned, like Danny Garcia last week against Errol. Will he win on points? I mean, very unlikely. Better it is for Pulev. Renee's trying to inch his way uh, uh, closer to. Is a steady and consistent jab. And through two rounds, we haven't seen it. That's two rounds in the books, right? because these rounds are being scored, and we saw that jab, Sergio, and, uh, you know, can chances, but I can't see Pula being creative. I don't he has to throw, but he'd rather catch you coming in. Uh, Joshua getting out of trouble. Still, this is rather tentative. Long right is underneath, so good defensive skills by Joshua, and a return right hand. Good counter right. Pulev is hurt. Second, that clipped him as well. Now he goes in for the kill. Pulev says he's not hurt, screaming out, but Joshua, there's aggression. And this is where AJ needs to be a little bit uh, careful. This is exactly where... Knocking Pulev around the ring. Hits him with an uppercut as well. Another uppercut. That hurt Pulev. He's on the ropes. He's hurt. He turns his back. That's the second time Pulev turns his back. That posed and ferocious finisher. <laughs> Watch this. Uh, that's what you said against Ruiz. Let's see. Can he close the show? This is Royer that we saw through his first 20 fights. Pulev is hurt. Pull the ropes again. Turns away. Does he want any more? The uppercut. Pull up down on his back. <laughs> Uppercuts. Right hands. Now a hook. Another uppercut. That uppercut is fast. Every time. And the round ends. And whoa, and that's well after the bell and unnecessary. Coming in, Pulev lunges with the jab. Joshua faints, ducks it, lands that big right hand. Down. He stumbles into the corner with his back turned. Sir, stop because of that. That's all body language. That's a big man not knowing how to react to being hurt. That's a big taboo in boxing, guys. You don't turn your back, but that's instinctive. That's something that pulled up. He stopped. We've Absolutely. seen it many times. That means you no longer want to continue, and the referee should save. Now, I don't know if that's what Pulev wanted, but he was almost out on his feet. And Wait. then... What is he doing? He's admonishing them for the end of that last round. Couple of cheap trading, and that's Anthony Joshua at his best. Big, fluid. He was boxing well, his big shots. That was beautiful. Sharp jab from Joshua. Now he's snapping it out. Brian, see, that's an inst instinctual reaction. 
See right there, Budlev still has game. That, that opportunity to throw the right hand because once he lands one clean, it visibly hurts. We see he is able to flip the switch and he went full bore for the knockout in the third round. Right now, Pulev, he, 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 it was fight or flight for Pulev, and right now he chose fight. He's coming forward and... Dope. And the heavyweight division was revitalized when Deontay Wilder was not... And then when Tyson Fury boxed beautifully against Wilder and knocked him out. So... Down twice on the deck in that round. Like Pulev historically, I'm very surprised he's still in this fight. I mean, Chris, when he was getting rattled around, it looked like it was it was good and being selectively aggressive. Yeah, but I don't know if I call it a weakness, but I had Haney to please the crowd, and that's what sometimes gets him in trouble. Well, remember the conversations we had in Saudi Arabia with Special. When you good hard jab and a right hand by Joshua. That's a snap the head back on Pulev. And there was a period of time where. Most people in the world thought Anthony Joshua Wilder when Wilder was unbeaten. Right now, most people, that's a good hard shot from Pula. On Deontay Wilder. A beat down here by Joshua might change the half significant flaws that begin with their chins. And Anthony Joshua was knocked out. Tyson. Uh, now, Kubrat Pulev in the same, under the same, certainly you can make some allowances here for Joshua as he gets back in the ring, having regained. He's coming forward, and, and his best punch is a jab, and right there he lands it again. So uh, Joshua with that. There it is again, just missed, able to slip his head up a little bit, but he's smiling, he's loose, and he has more conviction on those shots. Defending himself against that Pulev jab as well. We're not seeing Pulev get that jab off as often as we had. 39 years old, he's in great condition. His only loss to Vladimir Klitschko, but he's... Joshua measures it. rough. He likes to bully opponents. I, I like the fact that he's doing that, because Joshua doesn't want to get in this type. And that's where he's got a, his only chance, really. And Long, if you're, you're Josh... ...to get up on his toes, flick out the jab, and that's the end of the round. That's a good boxing. You're walking to the right hand by himself. He's moving up. Well, I think Anthony's got uh, um, Pulev uh, way behind him on the scorecards, but I want back into the fight, and I want to see him go to work, and I want a stoppage in the next couple of rounds, because we know An Anthony... About that third round. Joshua throwing his hands is something special. You know, the, the, the opponent that went down, he already went through the worst, so that's when he gets encouraged, and I think that's what we're seeing with Pulev. Boxing, because he's going upstairs, downstairs, looking for that big right hand, and that uppercut. Three in a row there right there, it is. four. There. Combination earlier in the round. And by the way, just to, to finish that thought earlier, that was Rocky IV, that music. The survivor, right? Called it. Nice right hand by Pulev. Yeah, Pulev. And there was multiple entrance music as well between Pulev. Brett Pulev, longtime IBF mandatory challenger. Again, just one pro loss and not taking a round. Every time Joshua throws that, that jab to the chest, That's to, to the, the torso. Mm. See, there you go. That's the jab that sets up that right hand right there. What would you tell Pulev? Well, Pulev needs to be a little bit more aggressive, obviously, if he wants to win this fight. Even in that instance, Pulev didn't try to cheap shot Joshua. He had a chance. He landed that. Joshua had his, has his head up in the air, a little high. A weakness in Joshua. Not much, but it could be his big chance. Andy Ruiz. We'll go three steady, four steady jabs to the torso. That's exactly what I want to see more of. It's been a decent round. A little better rhythm here. Pulev able to press a little more and create a little... And we're starting to mix it up a little bit more.
Let's go right exactly what I thought he would. Um, what, he, what his plan was is to be disciplined. Be to get back into this fight. Yeah, I'm not sure Pula. to put on the hurt as well. Dropping him twice, dropping Pulev twice in the third round. And he is not gonna win the fight from that distance. There it is, that's a stiff jab from Anthony. There's that left hook. He is There's tattooing Poop Pound. A strong first minute, I thought he landed the most consequential punch, a straight right. Uh, but maybe, maybe not. But it's a good scorecard. Look at these uppercuts, two of them landed. Three, four, four uppercuts. Inside exchanges. When Joshua throws that uppercut, Pulev doesn't seem... It leaves you susceptible. <laughs> when you, no. Oh, another one, and Pulev is hurt. Pulev is rocked, he's on shaky leg. Uppercuts that Pulev got hit with, and he is badly hurt. Seven, eight, Third knockdown of the fight for Anthony Joshua. Right hand, and down goes Pulev, and that's it. And they get to 10, and Anthony Joshua has it. London, and he deserves to. And I'll say this for Dion Duarte, the, the, you're allowed to. Is he leaving? No, he's coming down. Floyd he's Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather, look at that. And with a small crowd, you can, you can do that. <laughs> Knockout win. Uh, let me just finish my point on Duarte. You can count it, there's no doubt. There's no harm in counting 10 either. We saw Jack Reese do it. In the right amount of boxing skill and menace and Damage being done. Joshua's one of the very few big fighters that loves throwing those uppercuts. But, but from Vladimir Klitschko, it's good night. Look, we saw in the Klitschko fight that Pulev had no answer for those left hooks. In Look at that. Even a big man getting an angle. Not only did he land the first uppercut, shifted to the right just to land it again. But just could not. And yet, look, another uppercut. And that lands flush. Well, I think no question, Sergio, you're right. Look at that right hand. There is a highlight reel shot. Lewis Hassan Rockman, right that, there. That's that was, beautiful. That was the very end of Kubrat Pulev. You saw for that last knockdown. Turns the wrist, pop! That's full extension on that right hand. Doesn't wow. get more beautiful than that. Talk about Hearns again, that he can be proud of and take his confidence now. And good sportsmanship by both. Makes it all that much more anticipated. Official time of the stoppage. Two minutes and 58 seconds of round. Into the world! AJ Anthony